Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu. For those of you who are fans of my EVE Online instructional videos, don't worry, I am starting to get back into that. I've refilmed a couple of episodes of the 2018 edition of How to Survive EVE Online, and I've got another four or five planned, but that's going to take major editing work that will require some time. In the meantime, however, here's another instructional video about Elite Dangerous, this time about the technique that I use to try to quickly drop out of super crews on outposts and stations. Uh, I'll disclaimer first, I'm not the first one to come up with this, I think, but I've been using it so long I don't remember where I learned it from. But as usual, once you get down to 6 seconds remaining, you want to throttle down to 75%, otherwise you're going to overshoot your destination. And for a default outpost such as this, uh, where you have to be within <clears throat> 1 megameter and going slower than 1 megameter per second, you want to hold at 75% velocity, preferably uh, keeping any celestial bodies out of your way, uh, until you get with to 0 0.1 light seconds. Then go to full throttle, then wait for 4 seconds remaining, then go to zero throttle. So here's what that looks like. Full. Zero. Drop. And I enter, I get destination lock slightly within one megameter and slightly within one megameter per second. That way, I'm not going very slow at 75% throttle and going at like 200 kilometers per second by the time I get within one megameter. So that saves time on the very end of the super cruise. The situation gets a little bit more tricky if you have to graze past a celestial object, such as a starport that's orbiting really close to its planet, or pretty much any gas giant. Um, so you might need to deviate from the pattern I just laid out, but generally what you want to try to do is have your speed in megameters per second be the square root of your remaining distance to the starport in megameters. So if you're at 25 megameters out, you want to be at 5 megameters per second. If you're at 16 megameters out, you want to be at 4 megameters per second. This one so far for me at least is still a bit more art than science so it takes a little practice a little finessing um i'm not even at 0.1 light seconds yet i'm already slowing down there we go pull zero and i'm at two all right so full throttle again zero bingo So, what was happening in that last phase as I was coming down fast through the last several megameters is I noticed by about 9 megameters out, I was going more like 2 megameters per second. And I knew I was just going to slow down further, so I hit full throttle again until uh, I my distance was about to hit 4 megameters, then I went to zero throttle. So that's what I say when I'm. That's what I mean when I say that if you're grazing past a celestial body, sometimes it takes a little bit more finessing. Now the numbers I just gave you are for a default station or outpost, uh, namely that you're required to be within uh, one megameter and going slower than one megameter per second. You want to start this process at 0.1 light seconds. For a station like a uh, new home station in uh, Sothis, however, you have to be within 11.2 megameters and going slower than 11.2 megameters per second. So instead of 0.1 light seconds, you start this process at 11.2 times that, or about 1.12 light seconds. So hold 75% throttle, and... 
One point full zero. Drop. All right. Finally, as I mentioned before, um, this technique needs to be finessed a little bit near celestial bodies, <clears throat> which a lot of your starports and outposts are going to be near, but gas giants especially. So here I'm going to try the same thing, approaching an outpost that is orbiting a gas giant. At least I'm pretty sure that's a gas giant. Yeah. So full throttle to get back down to 6 seconds estimated. I have to toggle between full and 75% uh, while I'm still outside of a tenth of a light second. I can sometimes get away with going a little faster and the gas giant will slow me back down again. But again, that's more art than science. But now that I'm within a tenth of a light second... Full, zero... There we go. Alright, so once again the technique that I use is hold at 75% until I'm within a tenth of a light second, multiplied by whatever factor the tolerance for destination locks is. It's a tenth of a light second if you have to be within one megameter to get a destination lock. Then at a tenth of a light second, full throttle. Wait till your four, estimated four seconds remaining away, then zero throttle. Then once you're within one megameter, drop. You will need key bindings for all of these. Uh, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, so under the controls, uh, where's flight throttle? So definitely you'll want um, key bindings for 100%, 75%, and zero at the very least. And let's see. And personally, I use different key bindings for supercruise and hyperspace jump. I've unbound toggle frame shift drive because I don't like ambiguous controls. So I have a button for supercruise, I have a button for hyperspace jump, and never the twain shall meet. All right. So when I say drop, what I mean is hit the button for Super Cruise. All right. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, once again, I don't think I came up with this technique myself. And for the purposes of naming this video, I'm going to call it Super Breaking. But I've been doing this for so long over my three years of Elite Dangerous that I don't remember where I picked it up from. Um, so I'm not able to properly give credit for whoever did come up with it first. But I hope you found this useful, and thank you for watching.